In a Gartner study, it's forecasted that 97% of businesses will be using RPA by 2025. You can bet that your competition, who have, after all, similar processes and software to you, are already thinking about it and may have started acting on it. This is a startling figure. So let's recap on what RPA and AI really are. RPA is a software platform, like a virtual worker, that can mimic any repetitive tasks that your staff do on their computers, as long as the process has a logical workflow with rules-based decisions and doesn't require human intuition. Whatever business you're in, if you have staff doing repetitive tasks, it's a waste of their time and talent, and a waste of your money, as an RPA virtual worker costs one-tenth of the wage of a full-time employee doesn't take breaks and can work 24 hours a day, 365 days of the year. In addition, IA, Intelligent Automation, which is a combination of RPA and AI, can enhance what your virtual workers can do, such as reading emails, extracting information from scanned invoices or forms, or even replying to a customer via a chatbot. These are powerful tools that can save vast amounts of time on repetitive processes, make massive savings in any business, while increasing the speed and accuracy of service and improving compliance. There are also non-financial benefits you can not only aim for, but measure. With this technology, your business or department will stand out. The combination of success and the spin-offs from that success will give your employees more time with customers who appreciate human contact. Your staff will be freed from the boring, less creative tasks and have fewer late nights, and your business can move ahead on a sounder financial footing, enabling you to gain more customers. Recent history tells us that the businesses who invested in technology and got the most out of their investments were the ones that survived economic downturns and outran their competition in times of prosperity. The businesses that failed to embrace new technology were left to battle it out in a highly competitive space with others who did not act fast enough, and even the largest of the laggards were crushed by smaller, more agile and innovative organisations. It sounds amazing and magical, and if you're new to the intelligent automation space, it can seem overwhelming and complicated to get started. But by using your company's data and the right method, it's fairly straightforward. But make sure you avoid these common but disastrously expensive mistakes. Don't worry, that's why you're here.